Thank you for choosing our Patio Heat channel. I'm Steve. We provide tips and information to extend the enjoyment of your patio project. Our videos give you a knowledgeable overview prior to investing in your outdoor heating equipment. Whether you are a professional or owner builder, we provide specific details for optimum heat coverage for your application. Post a comment or question, or for developed visual designs, send your request in to designs at patioheat.com. We're here to work with you. For over 30 years, patio heating is the bedrock of our business, expressing what works best. Now let's get heating. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, patio deck here uh, with a pergola cover. Um, let's look at the dimensions first of all. So overall dimensions I have is 12 feet by 12 feet. Um, so you can see from the post to the post I have at 12. And then here I have this roughly at 12. Um, you can see that, uh, let's see if I can get this in there. You can see I have it at 1110 to the inside and 124 uh, to the outside of the post here. Um, basically we have a uh, dining space here. There is a height that I would receive. And I believe the information I got was that these uh, beams going across here are at nine feet off the finished floor. Um, I do have these about four inches high, so that would make this at uh, nine feet four, but it could be a, an inch or so lower. Um, the other thing I have, and this is going to be important if uh, my recommendation will work, is I have a gap between this uh, each one of these beams at one feet eight and three quarters of an inch and um, I'll show you why that's important in just a minute uh, basically dining space like I said and I have a total of uh, eight positions here and let's go ahead and turn off those dimensions and look at a couple of options so first option um, which is not the recommended option that I have is going to be placing one of the slimline units centered within the I'm going to actually say the table span where you know where the center position of the table is so that you can get the best ray off of the heater and also centered within the um, length of this direction here um, another thing I should just mention is I think I have these out at 18 inches which may or may not be an issue um, but I'll show you why in just a little while about that as well. And let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat with the one slimline 4000 watt unit. And you can see that uh, the majority of the heat is really heating up the table. Now the table I have here looks a little bit larger than it might be. Um, but in any case, you can see that we're heating up the you know left and right positions here fairly decently. But the outer positions here um, are not really being heated uh, well at all so that might be an issue um, essentially what you're going to get is with this mounting height here um, let's see if I can uh, try something out here nope so what I wanted to do is just show kind of what a footprint of heat would look like so if I did something like this um, where I'm going to show the distance of the ray itself. So you can see here we're at about, you know, 10 feet, 3 inches on that um, distance. So if the table is a lot uh, shorter than what I'm showing, then it might be okay, but it's still not my preference as far as the uh, footprint but it does you know warm up these positions okay and then this would be my second recommendation um, if we were to take two of the slimline units 4000 watts and from the center position of the patio i have it at three feet to the center position of the um, heater itself now i think that's a little bit off because of the actual distance i'm going to show here in a second but let's go ahead and look at that yeah, so I have it at uh, six foot two, uh, center to center, and that's based on the fact that uh, where I have these beams coming across here, and the center point between those beams, I have it mounted here, where I had the other one mounted um, on the bottom of the beam because the clearance zone has to be met uh, above the heater at six inches. 
Um, and if I was to mount it up here, you know, I'm pushing the heater up a little bit. Again, I'm not sure if this is four inches or two inches, but I'm pushing it up a little bit lar higher. And um, the other part is knowing what that uh, distance between those beams are so that we are meeting the clearances above the heater itself. So with that distance that I have, you can see that there's plenty of clearance on the left here as well as the right over here. So the clearance um, distance is six inches from the heater. The heater is, I think, uh, five inches across here, uh, six inches on e either side. So it would be, you know, 12, uh, one foot, five inches total that you need. And what I have should be fine. The other thing I should mention too about the slimline units is you can see this groove right here um, along the top of the unit itself and it allows you to move this bracket you know from left to right so that you can meet up with the joist that you would like to um, attach it to um, and uh, yeah so we want to make sure we meet in those clearances and then you know looking at this portion over here we want to make sure that we're meeting the below clearance of 18 inches so from the bottom edge of the heater out to the left um, we're at 18 inches no problem with that and then 36 inches down below of course and that's 18 inches on all four sides for the lower section of the heater and six inches on all four sides and the top um, for the top clearance so let me take this off here and look at the footprint of heat and I'll go ahead and turn off the clearance areas and you can see here now we have a very well heated section for the entire uh, space here so I think this would be my preference um, oh and again I do have these centered where the center of the patio or the the table is you could center it within the patio structure itself um, you know moving them over slightly if it's just a little bit to the left or right but again you want to make sure you're meeting that clearance on this um, side over here both sides but this is the side that has a little bit of a um, draw out on this side here with this beam so um, I'm gonna put that back and go ahead and finish up this uh, application all right, well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you would like us to review your plans, send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful. We don't advertise, not monetize. YouTube will not support us unless we receive a thumbs up from our viewers. And we truly appreciate you doing that. Thank you very much. Have an excellent day.